Sending your audience weekly content is super important to build that relationship with them. So when you launch your digital course, when you have a live webinar that you want them to sign up for, they know who you are and they know what you're about. So that weekly content could be, hey, I have a podcast, go listen to it. Hey, I just posted a Facebook Live in my Facebook group. Here's what it's about, go check it out. It can be just a written email. For me, I choose video. I choose video, I don't love writing, and so this is a way for me to get my message across without like having to sit down at a computer to type forever. And there are two resources that I absolutely must have to get these weekly emails, these weekly videos out. The first is free and the second is paid, but worth its weight in gold. So the first one is a Google Doc, free Google Doc. I use a Google Doc for every single video that I do. And in that Google Doc, the first part is a script. Sometimes I have a script, sometimes I don't. But when I have a script, that's the very first thing that I have in that Google Doc. Below that is my email body copy. I tend, I personally like to keep my emails pretty short. So they are usually four lines, four sentences, and then it gets to the video. My audience, they're busy entrepreneurs. They don't have time to read through an email and sort through, okay, what are we, what, what's she selling? What's she talking about? What does she want me to do? Um, and so that's why I keep my emails pretty short and it lives in that Google Doc. The next section I have is a YouTube caption. So my videos are hosted in uh, on YouTube so that I can link to them in my Kajabi emails. So I have a special caption for that because it um, it's a little bit different than some of the other platforms. And then I have a section for Facebook. I post, I, I upload this video to my Facebook page every week, and then I also have it to my Instagram. So that's what the Google Doc is. Everything that I want written about the, that particular video is on the Google Doc. So my paid resource that I absolutely cannot live without is my team member. Yes, she is a VA. Yes, she's um, a subcontractor. But to me, she is way more than just some, oh, VA, I don't know much about her. She is a dedicated part of my team. And there's no way I could get done as much as I do for my one-on-one -on -one clients or for these weekly videos without her. So here's how it works. I'm responsible for recording the video and uploading it to a folder. Then I update that Google Doc and that's it, I'm hands off. I don't do links, I don't hit post, I don't do schedule, I don't do anything else. My team member goes into that Google Doc, she grabs the video and she puts it the places that it needs to be. She adds the subtitles, she adds the links to the emails, she schedules the emails, she posts to Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and all those places. And so it truly is a team effort, but that allows me to be doing other things instead of these tedious tasks that have to happen every single week. So if you don't have anybody that helps you with that, that's absolutely fine. I did it myself for months and months, but when I was ready to the, take the next step, I had a written out SOP, I'm a processes girl, I love a good system, and so I had step by step, this is exactly what needs to be done. I did a training video for her on every single step, and then I've been hands off for months. So that has allowed me to do other things in my business, but still be able to connect with my audience. So use the resources that you need to get your weekly videos done, but get them done. It has to be a priority for you.